Senator, how's this relationship going to go with both men living in Washington? When you are an ex-president, you have a certain level of relevance and a certain level of irrelevance. And it's up to you to figure out what works and what doesn't. Let's start there. Well, first of all, uh, it's good to be on with, uh, obviously, Dennis, and it's good to be on with you. Uh, b bottom line is five other presidents have done very similar actions to what President Trump is doing. The fact that President Obama couldn't even wait a, a couple of weeks, you know, he had to talk, talk and speak about what this president is doing. Uh, he already ran for a third term through Hillary Clinton. People rejected it. And we're going to hear more and more and more of him rallying, you know, the outsiders, the protesters, instead of telling them uh, to, to get behind the president and let him do his job and give him that ability to have not only his cabinet secretaries appointed, uh, unlike what the Democrats are doing right now, but also give him a chance to have these plans be executed, because I, I know these people are coming not to build, mm -hmm. build a house so, with a white picket fence, but to actually hurt us and change our way of life. So I'm all in favor of it. Uh, Dennis Kucinich, as a Democrat, how much do you want to hear from President Obama? Or how much do you want to see him go the way of Bush 43? Well, it's all new, um, all new rules, so he's, he's able to speak out if he wants to. Uh, I agree with him that uh, the Constitution doesn't allow for a religious test. But let's face something here. Donald Trump didn't create these wars. Wars create refugees. And President Obama, uh, both in, in Syria and in Lebanon, has backed uh, conflicts which have created refugees. So that's something that if, he, if he's involved in a debate, uh, he should have to answer that. Okay. Ari Fleischer said this on our program last hour. Watch. I think what you really have to ask here is when President Obama was at the peak of his power, rising personal popularity, an election on the line, Hillary Clinton running to succeed him, he did everything he could and spoke as often as he could on behalf of Hillary, and it didn't do enough good. So why does he think now, when his star is fading, when he's out of office and doesn't have power, that it'll do any good well, that's now? An, I think that, that goes to the whole issue of relevancy and, you know, wh when you interject, where you interject, wh where you pick your moments. All right, Wall Street Journal said this. It takes a special kind of gall for Mr. Obama and his advisors like Susan Rice to lecture anyone about American values and refugees from chaos in the Middle East. Wow. What do you think about that, Senator? Well, I, I agree with Dennis. He hit, hit it right in the head. The, uh, President Obama's actions with Syria, drawing that red line and doing nothing, obviously in Libya where you overthrew a, you know, a dictator, but somebody that created some stability has created this mess. And now he, they're going to lecture us? I think it's going to be like, you know, he's going to cry wolf so many times where people are ultimately just going to shut him down and turn him off. And with respect, uh, the President uh, Trump has a, an affirmative obligation to make sure that he keeps us safe. And to throw back and say, oh, this is about religion, it's not. It's about war-torn countries that President Obama identified, that five other presidents have done similar things, all the way back to Jimmy Carter. It, it's, it's a little uh, disingenuous. Mm. Dennis Kucinich, I've got to go, but I just quickly, what is your advice to a former president? Um, well, if you're, going to early on. In a if you're going to engage in a debate after you leave the presidency, you have to be prepared to defend your policies, and the Obama policies of interventionism are going to be difficult to defend when you look at the results. So I would say, uh, yes, we shouldn't have a, a religious test uh, for entry into the country, but uh, no, uh, Mr. Obama, President Obama, uh, this uh, direction you took us in, in Libya and in Syria, there's a lot of questions about um, that. There's the reason uh, why they're staying in Washington. It's in part for the daughter and also, you know, for her to finish her education. And he, he's going to have a voice, gentlemen, whether you're for that or against it.